Hi friends, this is Aju Welcome. Today we are going to see if you change the app's password using the alter user command, what kind of errors you are going to face. So that's what we are going to see today. And before doing that thing or before creating any errors in the app's environment, please make sure on the backups. So I'm going to take the backup of the FND user and fnd oracle user id both tables so i'm going to log into the sql prompt and create a directory because i'm using the data pump create directory dmp as the location which level location i'm providing here <clears throat> hope you all know that so i'm providing the grant to read on and write on to the directory to the user sys and also the write on privilege exit the SQL prompt and use the data pump utility that, that, that means the export DP I'm using directory equal to the directory what I created before and tables equal to emphasis dot fnd underscore user and emphasis dot <coughs> oracle underscore user id dump file equal to the dump file name and the log file name provide the password to make the backup and it will be going fine hope yeah it will be going fine my backup is available and see the tables with 166 rows and 39 rows will be backed up successfully so now I can able to do the damage what I can do so let's see how do we do that so my application is working perfectly so I can able to view the responsibilities and also I can able to view the forms the functions which is yeah the function is running in background and I can able to view the functions the forms also working fine so now I'm going to use the alter statement command alter use it command to change the app's password and then we will see what will happen actually see my, all my forms is working perfectly now just go to the prompt no, 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 don't want to close the application. <laughs> I'm just logging to the SQL prompt first key and use that the user command. Alter user apps identified by. new password that is my new password is jimmy my previous password is apps okay and let's do that now i'm connecting with my previous password which is the apps see the error will provided by the worker and i'm connecting with the new password which is the jimmy now it will be connected my previous password is apps it's not connected and the new password is jimmy it's connected successfully so let's see in the front end side now i'm clicking the forms yeah see the error where are error i'm getting the where are error invalid username log on denied so which is probably known error but i can able to view the forms but it's not your hundred percentage working application <clears throat> if you are log out and log in again you will face another issue Let's see that error also. I'm 
just exiting that. See, my application is giving the another error message like that. So, what is the possible solution for that? There is many possible solution. And also see, if I am providing the new password here, the username is apps, and providing the new password and existing password, the previous password, everything, it's not working. It's not working fine. So what I need to do means here, we need to roll back to the previous uh, password. If you know about the previous password, which is one of the possible way to do that. If you don't know the, the previous password, it's not the thing. And also here, in my case, I'm changing the Apple Sys password also. If it is working fine, which I'm testing here. And the user Apple says identified the back Jimmy. So because the apps and Apple says is always synced, so I'm just yeah, it's that option also not working here. So <coughs> I'm going to do the another uh, B that is uh, what I need to do means uh, <clears throat> so here I'm just going for the old password that is the previous password what I used to already the major thing is you have to understood in the real time environment if you doesn't know about the apps password what you used previously means it create a new issue and also there is some another possible way to find the current apps password in the backend side which is the encrypted password but we can able to decrypt it the separate way we need to execute the procedures see here I'm roll back to the previous password so now let's see uh, the application is whether working or not working I already changed my apples apps and apple says password using the same way <coughs> now let's see about the application whether it's working or not my forms Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's good. Yeah, see, yes, it's working perfectly. I can able to view my forms. It's one of the possible method, which is the uh, very fastest method before restoring from the backup because if you are restoring the two tables from the backup it's also take some uh, some time but the thing is you need to know about the previous password about the apps and environment if you doesn't know about that you need to restore it if you doesn't know about the previous password you need to find it thanks for watching guys bye